go on. Maybe I need to lift this up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't in the frame. Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Happy Saturday night. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to come on really quickly just to share some skincare stuff with you guys and then also just to check in because it has been so long since I've done a live video. Like, it's been a long time. So I thought this would be a great fun time to just connect with you guys and to share a little bit about my um, my skincare routine. The solution for I've enlarged pores. The right ingredients. A lot of questions. Research. Uh, sorry about that. I've been getting a lot of questions about my skincare routine. And I'm not exactly sure why, but I have been. So I thought this would be a great time to come on and just kind of talk about the current state of my skin and what I've been using in my routine. So thank you guys for joining me. Let me know if you guys use any of the things that I use or, um, you know, what your skincare routine looks like, because I'm always excited to try new things and, um, learn about new products and kind of see how this old 50 year old skin <laughs> will respond to new products. Hey, Evelyn. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Evelyn. Well, I'm glad to know y'all think my skin looks good because, you know, when you, you know, are just like in your body and you're seeing yourself age, you notice like the changes and I've also because of my health issues you guys know I have an autoimmune illness I'm seeing like plumping in my face so I've gained a little weight so my cheeks are a little bigger let me tell you what I don't like about my skin my chin is a little darker than the rest of my face although I've noticed some people get bright in here um in this this area also but I don't like that and um I don't have a lot of wrinkles yet, you know, but I'm noticing like my eyes are changing a little bit too. So I don't know. It is what it is. We all have some things we love. We all have some things we hate, but um, I hope that this video is helpful um, just, you know, in sharing with you guys kind of what I am doing. And in order to keep this video from being too long, I'm going to go ahead and kind of jump right in. I did put links to everything because I inevitably, Evelyn and, you know, anyone else who's watching, um, I inevitably get um, requests like, you know, what exactly I use and I'm never prepared enough to do that in advance. <laughs> so, anywho, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you'd like for me to do more lives. I would like to do lives because you guys know I have the autoimmune illness and so my energy level ebbs and flows. I would have been sharing this information with you guys a long time ago, but I don't always have the energy. And so uh, that's why I'm doing this as a live. So I hope it's helpful. Anywho, um, so I told you guys what I don't like about my skin. So I do have some of that um, stuff going on. Um, and in order to thank you, Miss Stewart, <laughs> I, I don't feel beautiful. Let me tell you, I don't think it has been years since I've come on the channel, just totally kind of clean faced and it's very vulnerable, but you know, it's empowering at the same time. So those words of, um, support mean a lot to me so thank you for saying that I'm I'm happy to know that you feel that way and I feel a little more beautiful now too all right <laughs> so let me tell you guys so since I have um gone on this journey with my autoimmune illness I've seen it take you know and wreak havoc on my hair do you guys see this you see how full and thick my hair is getting it had gotten super, super fine, but it is looking so much better. So I'll talk about that in a separate video, kind of what I've been doing and these results I've been seeing. And um, if it helps somebody, I would be so happy to know that. So definitely leave a comment when that video goes up to let me know. But um, my hair has been flourishing. I feel like my skin is in a better place because I had seen um, the effects of my illness and all the meds I've 
was on taking a toll on my skin. It had become really dull and stuff like that. So one of the things I did was I separated my skincare routine, just like I did for my hair when I first went natural. So I would have certain days where I focus on hydration with regard to my hair care routine. So I decided to do that with my skin. Um, also, there are times where I clarify my hair. I began to do the same thing with my skin, and that's a little bit of what I began doing earlier today. So like normally um, when it comes to um, my skin, I usually like double cleanse it during the week if I've had makeup on. Um, but on the weekend, like I said, I do something completely different. So I focus on one aspect of skincare. And today I focused on exfoliating my skin and I focused on hydration. So exfoliating, the reason I exfoliate my skin is because it just helps to lift all of those, you know, old layers of dead skin <laughs> and reveal, you know, your healthiest, you know, newest layer of skin, um, you know, it helps to minimize texture um, and it helps to keep the skin looking more um, healthy and youthful. And so I've always incorporated exfoliation as a separate step when it comes to my skincare routine. And um, I use like specific stuff to do that during um, uh, one day per week. And I usually do it once a month. Sometimes in the winter, I do it twice a month. So I'm just gonna start out and kind of tell you all what I use because I see I'm already almost seven minutes in. <laughs> and I ain't said one product yet, all right? So the first thing I do, like I said, is I cleanse my skin. And again, I focus on um, clarifying the skin and then um, exfoliating and moisturizing the skin. So like even with your hair, you have to clarify it. And that's like really lifting everything from your skin, getting all the silicones off of your, your hair um, when you're shampooing, using a sh clarifying shampoo. So I use a clarifying and blemish clearing cleanser um, on my skin to start off my um, my exfoliating process. So I use this particular product. It's by Juice Beauty. First of all, I love Juice Beauty. It's, I just love their stuff. Everything I've used uh, from them is really gentle and effective on my skin. Um, I have been using their stem cellular products, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. And um, it's definitely worth the, um, the money, it's definitely worth, like everybody doesn't carry Juice Beauty, so it's definitely worth going to those places to get the products you want. But um, this is the, the product I use to clarify and cleanse my skin. Also, I'll use it like during the week. I'll just show you a little bit of it. I, I will also use it a little bit during the week. It's pretty clear, like you can see that. Um, and the reason I use it during the week is if like I'm having a breakout or something like that. And definitely like in the summertime because my I have oily skin. And so those glands go into overload. And so I like to just make sure I'm getting into my pores and truly, truly cleansing my skin really well. And this is, it's clarifying, but it doesn't leave my skin feeling like super tight it leaves it feeling very clean and still very hydrated at the end. So that's one of the reasons I prefer this particular cleanser. Um, I have another one that I use by them like for every day, but yeah, the first step for me is definitely this particular product. And like, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things. I put everything below, cause like I said, I know that you guys are you always ask me, you know, what was that again? <laughs> and so, Everything's down there, so just go to it when you're ready to go to it. So like I said, I double cleanse, and so I use that as the first step of my cleansing process, and then I use uh, another cleanser. This, guys, you have seen me talk about before because I've literally been using it for years. This one I've been using for about a year, but this one, like I have a long, 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 long history with. You guys know I love Mario Badescu if you have been following my channel from the beginning. Um but I use this glycolic uh, foaming cleanser and I really like using products with glycolic acid 
because it because there we go because um it <laughs> I'm not good at this as you can tell but um glycolic acid is a less um intrusive less harsh way of exfoliating the skin um and so I love to use products with a bit of glycolic acid in it because if it's something that I use every day, then I'm always gently and naturally exfoliating my skin. I used to use a Clarisonic, which I still love, but when it comes to manual, you know, kind of machines like that on the face, I try to use them at a minimum and just let the product kind of do the work. So um, if you are familiar with glycolic acid, you might be a little bit concerned because you're thinking glycolic acid peel. That's a whole other thing. This probably only has maybe 5% glycolic acid in it, which is pretty safe for everyone. So I doubt very seriously um, if you'll experience any tingling or anything like that. It's just going to work and you're not even going to notice that it's like polishing your skin and cleansing again those pores and again revealing your um, newest uh, most healthiest skin. So once I do all of that I like to um, use this product and I actually got it in like um it's like an added gift. I placed the order, I think, with Sephora. And they put a little baby one. I think I still have it back there, but uh, the bottle, because I use the bottle for when I travel. But I got um, a little uh, sample of the Dr. Andrew Will um, Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience. You guys may have heard of this. Okay, this is the special... <laughs> I'm not usually extra, but I was extra when I saw this because I thought it, the bottle was so pretty. This is their special edition bottle. So it's a little bit bigger. I usually get um, maybe it's 12 ounces or 10 ounce bottle, but this is the Origin, again, Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience product. And I like to use this after I use my cleansers because it just kind of balances and soothes everything afterward. It makes my skin feel really, really good. I use it as you would like use a toner or again, any kind of soothing treatment on the skin. If I'm using glycolic acid and definitely on my um, exfoliation day, I like to make sure that I'm using products that are going to soothe my skin after I've added, you know, these treatments that are designed to kind of lay those dull, dull, dead layers of skin uh, from the face. So again, I follow with that and I just use a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit now so you can see how I use it. But I just take a little bit, put it in the palm of my hands like that. And then I just kind of pat it into the skin. Mm. And it feels really good. And it smells good too, which was surprising to me because I wasn't expecting something, a mushroom <laughs> based product to feel really good. So this is my favorite, 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 favorite toner. It replaced my Mario Badescu rose water toner. That's how much I like this product. I still use the Mario Badescu um, to mist my hair and stuff like that, but this is my product of preference for my face. Um, so I use that and oh, I forgot to mention, when I'm cleansing my skin, like sometimes I like to use my fingers and just kind of get in, you know, to the skin, but I <laughs> happened upon, I just said I wasn't extra, right? This might be a little bit extra. I'm just thinking about this jar probably looks super extra, but I got this on Amazon because I wanted to swap out the jars. I wanted to have like something really pretty and aesthetically beautiful, like from my bathroom. And then I'll probably also swap out some stuff in my kitchen too. So I was on Amazon looking for, you know, jars. And I just love this one because it has the wood detailed. So it's like very grounding. And so anyway, Inside this is the stuff I want to tell you about. These are um, organic bamboo and cotton cleansing rounds. So what I do is I take my cleanser and I put a bit on here and I, you know, put it together like that. With this being wet, I didn't say that. 
and then I'll use this. Sometimes I'll use two and I'll go in and I'll again get some very gentle but additional exfoliation on the skin. Um, and that is something that I'm able to do every day. So it's not going to be damaging to my skin, um, but it's going to gently exfoliate and cleanse my skin. And I love these things. So you use them and then it comes with um, a little pouch. Once you're done with them, you just can toss them in the pouch and then you take the pouch and you can just you know, load that into your washing machine or however you choose to wash these products. And so I just love them. You get like 20 in a pack and they're like the, the best thing. So since I no longer use the Clarisonic, I've been using these things. And again, I absolutely love them. And I feel like they leave my skin looking and feeling better than when I used any manual tool like the Clarisonic on my skin. So I had to tell you guys about that because, you know, if you don't want to use a face towel, which I don't really recommend, I don't use a face towel on my face. I haven't in years. Um, uh, and once I transitioned out of the Clarisonic, these little rounds were like everything. So, and they were only like $10. So if it's, you're looking to try something different, like I said, it's only $10 um, and they're very, very effective. They clean really good. That was another thing I was concerned about. Um, you know, would they get white again? But look at, you know, see that. So I've been using these and washing them and they come out just perfect. So highly recommend, highly recommend. And I have a link for it down below because I definitely wanted to make sure um, I told you guys about that because I've wanted to for quite some time. But of course, I hadn't done a video, so. Here we are. All right, so after I use the um, Origins product just to kind of tone everything, then I go in and I do more exfoliation. So the second step of my exfoliation is this really cool product. So I heard about The Ordinary like a couple of years ago. They were having all this drama, you know, with the owner a few years ago. And then, you know, folks started telling me about how good their products were. So this is a peeling solution. It's AHA and BHA. Oh, let me see if I can get this right. Okay. AHA and BHA. I hope you guys can see this. Um, cleansing product or um, it, it says peeling solution, but like don't get disturbed by that. I was the first time I picked it up because I'm like, I don't want to peel you know, but I want something to do deeper exfoliation because again, I have oily skin and you really got to get in those pores so that they don't look super huge and that, you know, you're cleansing them out on a regular basis so that you don't get, you know, acne, um, you know, bacteria buildup or clogged pores and things of that nature. So that's another reason why I do take one or two weekends, you know, or Saturdays a month and I just do a glycolic um, or exfoliating cleansing routine on my, on my face. So with this product, all you need is like a couple of, um, I just use one dropper full like this. And then I put the droplets, I usually put like some in this region, some here, some here, and a little bit down here. And I just rub it in with my hands. I would demonstrate it, but I did this part earlier. I'll show you the last part of my routine kind of live. Because when I did this part, it was just a part of my normal Saturday routine. And I was like, I should be sharing this with you guys. So I didn't get to do that one, but I want to kind of talk you through it. So I just leave it on for maybe about 10 minutes and then I rinse it off and it just gently exfoliates the skin. Um, again, lifting, that's what all of this is about, like revealing your healthiest, most youthful um, uh, skin, minimizing texture, getting rid of discoloration. That's what this whole part of my skincare routine is about. So another benefit of glycolic acid is to uh, lighten um, hyperpigmentation on your skin. So not to lighten the skin or bleach the skin, but if you have like acne scars, um, 
that you want to, um, you know, lighten or, um, so that, I'm trying to think the best way to describe this. So when you have like an acne scar, this is the way my esthetician described it to me. That skin is traumatized and bruised on the outside, right? So it will appear darker. So you want to use glycolic acid. She was the one who introduced me to it. Um, you want to use glycolic acid and exfoliating products to um, naturally um, not wipe away, but uh, I, I can't find the right word for it, but to get rid of that, that layer of skin so that you're getting the skin beneath it that's healthier and that isn't scarred. So over time, you are like um, dissolving away, that's the right word, dissolving away that traumatized, darkened uh, skin and you're revealing the healthy skin beneath it. So that's how it you know, doesn't cause your skin color to change, but just those areas where that skin was bruised, traumatized, and so you're getting rid of that in a more expedited way <laughs> so that you have that healthier kind of um, clearer appearing skin. So if you suffer from acne, glycolic acid is what you want. It, it, Sidetrack moment just to, I guess, to give a testimonial <laughs> about glycolic acid. So the reason she and I really had begun to um, a focus on glycolic acid is because I had developed like uh, cystic acne. Um, I like I had pimples like super super like below the skin and they were like painful to the touch. And y'all, this was all stress induced um, as a result of a job I had. And they were like everywhere. And I didn't have um, like a history of of you know, acne prone skin. So I really wasn't sure what to do. And so these, this is like um, uh, one of the treatments she used to help me to get my skin back to where it was previously. And again, to diminish, you know, the appearance of the um, bruised skin from the, from the acne. So yeah, highly recommend glycolic acid. You know, I've got some other stuff too, but Definitely want to use these products or this kind of product. It doesn't have to use this one, but anything that is going to have a bit of um, natural exfoliator in it. Again, I highly recommend glycolic acid because that is what worked for me. And I've been using it ever since. And my skin, whenever I've had a blemish, it's not there, you know, uh, there for very long in terms of the discoloration. And so I just sing it, its praises. All right, so after I do that, I go back in again with the toner because, you know, this is an exfoliator. So I want to go back in and kind of tone my skin, soothe the skin. I don't want it to get irritated because I do have somewhat sensitive skin as well. So I just go in and again, I pat it on my skin. And then the last step for um, of this part uh, for moisture is using a mask on my skin. And this mask is newer to me. Um, before I was using one by Strivectin and I wanted something that was a little bit lower price point because <laughs> I love Strivectin products, um, but you know, I, I didn't need to spend that much on a hydrating mask. So I received this one in, um, I think I went to Sephora and they had a, a box you could buy where you could sample certain products. A, a couple of them I already knew I loved and wanted, but I wanted to try the mask. And so the woman there was like, oh, you should just get this. You can get the products you want and then try something new. And I was like, why didn't I think of that? Okay, thank you. So I was introduced to this one, this honey potion pharmacy mask. It is so wonderfully hydrating. So this is what the um, smaller size looks like. And on the inside, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Looks like It's very thick and it goes on almost like a balm um, onto the skin. And it obviously, you know, as you could probably guess by the name, uh, one of the main ingredients is honey. 
And the goal of this product is to renew, um, rehydrate, support the moisture balance of your skin. And honey is um, a humectant, so it draws uh, moisture like in the air or in the atmosphere to the skin that helps with um, you know ensuring that your skin stays nice and hydrated and supple. One of the reasons that um, I try to focus on hydration is because um, it helps to plump in the skin essentially. And so areas where you would have fine lines, they then become more plumpened and less um, deep because you have that hydration pumping to the, through the skin. You know, like even think about, you know, when your skin, when you don't moisturize it, you know, the, it starts to looking, you know, really weird. You see all of the lines in the skin, you see more texture in the skin and so forth. So I just use that same concept um, in thinking when it comes to my skincare. So that's why I like to make sure that while I'm doing the peeling, portion or the exfoliating portion, um, which can be, um, you know, stripping to the skin. Glycolic acid can also be drying to the skin, especially if you're newer to it. Um, I just want to make sure that I am counterbalancing that by pairing um, it with great moisturizers as well. So after I do that and um, I just wipe it off once I'm done. When you put that pro this product on, of course, you saw it looked like a balm. Once you like rub it in the skin, it begins to look white and it will just kind of sit there like on top of the skin. But it's hydrating. Like your skin will feel so soft and it will look so stunning afterwards. Um, if you want to wake up looking beautiful, do that before you go to bed. It's like perfection. All right, so... After I wipe that off, I go in again with a little bit of the uh, Mega Mushroom by Origins. Like I told you guys, I use this often on this particular day because I am exfoliating. So I want to just take care of my skin. So after I've done that, then now I'm going to start with my current um, before bed portion of this process. So what I like to do, and I use this in the morning as well, but I also like to use it at night because, um, I don't know if you guys can hear this. This is vibrating. And this is the, um, I think it's called Beauty Bar 24K Facial Massager. And so I like to use this just to kind of go into the skin. And I go back into like my temples. This is so, this is so relaxing. Um, I don't really know what this is doing, but I know it's very relaxing to me. I don't know if there's any other benefit for the skin, but it's so relaxing. And I feel like this was probably 10 or $20. Like it wasn't very expensive at all. But I do know that um, it, the vibration helps me to relax at night with my autoimmune illness. Again, I, you know, suffer from insomnia sometimes because of chronic pain and other issues. And so this really helps me to relax at night. And I just like to bring it all the way up to the temples. It's just very, very relaxing. And then I just do this kind of all over the skin, bringing it back. I have noticed um, that a lot of the puffiness goes away. Like if I use this at the beginning of the day and especially if I'm going like around here and I've had one of those nights where I haven't gotten a lot of sleep this helps just to diminish the puffiness around the eyes so I don't look like what I've been through <laughs> the night before so yeah it's really, really relaxing and I have other products that I use just to Hi. My daughter is over there. I'm on live. Oh, No, I don't have the energy for that. Okay, good night. I love you. Yes. She wants to give me a hug. So. I look crusty, y'all. I'm so sorry. 
I look crusty. <laughs> you look beautiful. As always. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Good night, love, love you too. Say the word. Okay. And then you can do it under the neck, under the chin. And it's very, very relaxing. All right. So I use this. And sometimes I use it by itself, but sometimes I'll mix it um, with a moisturizer or I'll use it in tandem with a moisturizer or with one of my serums. Um, I'm going to go right into the serum I use. I like that little gadget. Yeah. Evelyn, it's everything. It's great. Super relaxing and really great for nighttime or in the morning. So it's it really just relaxed me right now. So I'm going to try to hang in here for the rest of this video. <laughs> But I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's it's worth it. And again, it's not very expensive. So it's really cool. Um, but after I do that, I then focus on serums and then um, using my nighttime moisturizer. And then that's pretty much it. So like I don't do all of this every day. Again, this is for my self care days. Um, where I am this Saturday focusing again on um, exfoliation of the skin to keep that healthy, most beautiful skin face forward, as they say. I guess if I was in a commercial, I'd probably say that. But the next thing I use is another product by The Ordinary, and this is their hyaluronic um, acid. And I love this product, especially for summer because it kind of tricks my skin into thinking it's more hydrated than it is, like regardless of how hot it is. Because one of the things that happens is when it's really hot outside, my body tends to think like my skin is um, dehydrated. And so this tricks my skin into feeling as though it's hydrated. And what I notice is that there is less oil production on my skin. So it helps to keep me from getting super oily during the day. Um, this also has B5 in it. And again, the focus is on hydration support. And I just take just a little bit of this and put it dropper onto my skin. And then I just kind of really pat it just into the my skin like that and it is very very thin so it absorbs in really nicely if you if you want um, your products to go like even deeper into the skin you could get it wet like as soon as you put your toner or again you know I use this one by origin the soothing treatment put that on and then put your serum on right after that and while the skin is still wet and it helps the product to work more deeply so if you're using like a retinol which I have a day where um, a month where I do like a retinol treatment sometimes I put it on wet skin and some days I don't because you know while it's great that it's working more deeply you want to think about um, how often you want to do that because it's almost like it's super, super potent is the best way I could describe it, you know, at that point and you don't want to kind of overpower the skin. So like, I don't like to do that all the time, but part of the time I will make sure that it is, um, it's wet. So I get all the benefits of the um, hyaluronic acid and any of the um, serums I use, to be honest. All right, so after I've done that, then I use um, this product. So I told you I love Juice Beauty. This is their Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle uh, Booster Serum. And so I use this one. I don't know if you can see that, but this is kind of the packaging. Their packaging is so cute <laughs> to me. Now that one, I realized right before I went on was empty, but your girl got it back up. Because I always keep backups to my staple hair care products and my staple skincare products. I have been using the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular products for almost two years now. And like I said, I absolutely love it. So I usually just take a pump, which is about that thick. And it looks like it would be very silicone-y, but it isn't. When you rub it together like that, you see how it breaks down? 
super clear. Has a really refreshing scent as well. And it just works right into the skin. Like I said, you would think when you look at it and it comes out of the jar, you would think it would be really um, silicone-y, but it isn't. It almost breaks down similar to like water, truthfully. All right, so then I just use one pump. This lasts me forever. So, I mean, it's a higher price point, but I liked it. It worked for me, so I get it. But I only need like uh, one pump. So this lasts me a number of months. Um, and so I have no regrets about that. I find that I spend more on um, skincare than makeup now. I really care about just having healthy, you know, skin. And, um, you know, that makes it a better sort of canvas or what have you for when you um, put makeup on. So take care of your skin. All right. So the next thing I use, which if you've been watching my channel for a while, because I don't do a lot of these videos, but the couple times I have done these type of videos, you guys know that um, I have talked about rose hip seed oil. I love rose hip seed oil and um, I will usually use, there we go, I will usually use this brand by um, Fox Brim. There are others, all kind of price points, but I started out using um, Fox Brim's rose hip seed oil and I like it the best. It's the I have no complaints and it, it's at a really good price point. I can order it on Amazon and it be at my house the next day. All those little conveniences mean a lot. Now, the reason I use ro rose hip seed oil and I only use like one, two drops. If you have oily skin, you might want to use more, but that's really all I need. Um, I like to put it on my forehead because for a long time I didn't use sunscreen and if I do I notice if I get dehydrated or you know even when I was um, in the hospital I noticed that fine lines would definitely appear like on my forehead so I mostly use it in that area and then around the perimeter of the face I don't usually keep it in this area, this is where my pores are, or right here. I don't usually put it in that area, but I pat it in everything else because this stuff, rose hip seed oil, I think I said in the video I did years ago um, about this same product is, it is like liquid gold in a jar. It is so restorative to the skin. It helps those cells to turn over more quickly. Again, helping you to always have like your healthiest, um, you know, the newest, um, more youthful skin shining through. That's what this does. This stuff, even um, I don't usually put this on wet skin. I just put it on regular. Um, because it's already working on a deep cellular level uh, within the skin. So I just pat that little bit on and it just leaves my skin looking like stunning, youthful, <laughs> you know, hydrated, moisturized, just healthy. It's not even really about looking more youthful. It's just, you know, healthy, healthy, healthy skin. And so I will always use rosehip seed oil because it's just a great multi-purpose product. I use it not over uh, only on my, um, my face, but I use it on my hands. I use it on my hair. And again, it's just very hydrating. It keeps the skin just looking so healthy and new. And so, you know, this is... I want to say it's probably 10, 15, maybe $20. This lasts extremely long because you saw I only use two drops. Now, if you have dry skin, you may want to maybe use four drops. You don't need a whole dropper. You only need a little bit. Um, so your rose hip seed oil should last you a very, 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 very long time. 
but I highly recommend it. I highly, if you can't add anything else to your skincare routine, I would, you need this. This is the thing you definitely need. Like all the stuff here, I'm very happy with and, and you know, I would, I would use, um, or that I would continue to use. Um, but this I've been riding with the longest, this the second longest, the other stuff I've been using for like about two years now, with the exception of this one, the um, honey potion, which I just have been using for maybe about six months and I love it. But, you know, if you can only pick up one thing, get you some rosehip seed oil. It will change your life. And again, like I said, you could use it on your face, your body, you know, your hair, so many purposes. So highly recommend that. All right, so the last thing I focus on for, again, my exfoliating treatment is I use a little bit of Peter Thomas Roth's 10% glycolic solutions. Now, this isn't for everybody. I am, you know, uh, very uh, acquainted and my skin is very acquainted with glycolic acid. So 10% glycolic acid is not going to be too much for me. It's not going to burn my skin or anything like that. Um, it's really not a lot. Like if you've never used glycolic acid, 10% is probably a little bit high. I would definitely start with something like this that has a lower percentage of glycolic acid in it and then work your way up to this. Um, they used to have, Peter Thomas uh, Roth used to have these little Q-tip things that I think it was like 20% or 15% glycolic acid. And I used to love, love that, <laughs> but he stopped making it. I don't know why, but yeah, you just put it on and man, you know, face would be on fire, but <laughs> it worked really, really well. <laughs> so that went away, um, but four days like today, um, where I'm using glycolic acid as a part of my uh, skincare treatments, I will add this to the mix. And I only use it at night. You don't want to use glycolic um, lotions or uh, serums with glycolic acid during the day because um, you could have the opposite effects if you get like too much sunlight like they don't interact with the sun real well and I'm not a scientist I can't give you all the science behind it but um it's not something that you should be wearing on your skin if you're going to be you know in the sun so this is a great nighttime product and what I do is I just take a little bit of the lotion I'll, you can see how little I have on my finger and I will take it and I'll just put it in the areas, like I told you guys at the beginning, I um, I don't like my chin <laughs> because it's a little darker than the rest of my skin. So what I'll do is I will add this moisturizer to that area to help even out the skin tone. Also, like if you have acne or something, um, some, you know, other scarring or things of that nature. You could just take a little bit and spot treat. This isn't something that I would put all over my face. I only use this for uh, spot treatments, but you could use it all over your face for a period of time. Like if you notice you have lots of fine lines, lots of wrinkles, lots of texture happening on the skin. You could certainly put this all over for a period of time just until you get that texture um, uh, addressed or, you know, the uh, uneven skin tone. Again, you, you, you want more uh, smoothness of the skin. You could use it definitely for a period of time. It's just, this wouldn't be something that I use every day or every evening all over my face. I just use it in certain areas um, because I'm satisfied with everything else thus far. Now, if I start getting a whole bunch of texture and crow's feet and all that kind of stuff, I would potentially use it for that purpose. But for right now, I just use it on my chin. And sometimes if, again, my forehead gets a bit darker, because I don't always use sunscreen and I should. I'm using it now, but when I was younger, I did not. 
But, you know, if my forehead were to get a bit darker, I would use it there just to, again, even out the skin tone. Again, it's not bleaching your skin. So if that's what you're looking for, this is not the product and you don't need to bleach your skin anyway. The Lord made you exactly how he wanted you to and you are beautiful. All right. <laughs> but um, it will help to smooth the skin, even the skin tone, address fine lines. Um, it even helps with pores because, again, it's an exfoliating product. So it is going to wear, you know, if those pores are clogged, it'll get rid of some of that that surface stuff happening. All right, so that is that. And then the very last um, step, I do this like um, most nights or days into nights. It just, it depends. It also depends on the time of year. So um, because we're in the midst of summer, I don't use this during the day. This is the, and I apologize, it's a little dirty, but again, these are the products I use. Oh, some of this other stuff was dirty too. Like you can see that's been, you know, used. It's been loved. Um, but this is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. So this is like a really, really nice moisturizer. It's a little heavy. So if you have oily skin, you probably don't want to wear this in the midst of summer, like during the day. But if you live in a climate um, where you have really, really, really bitterly cold winters and cold falls, um, this will be a great product to use because um, you can manage like how much you put on the skin and it works so deeply within the skin to keep it hydrated that it's like nothing else. This is literally one of my favorite moisturizers the only time I the only reason I don't use it in the summer is because it is a bit heavier and um, I like to use a, a much lighter gel based um, oil free moisturizer for during the day in the summertime because I have the oily skin but if you have dry skin um, or areas of your skin that get really dry you could potentially you know use this during the day but I do like to use it at night and it has this little pump. So you just do that and then you get, I'm so embarrassed because this is dirty. It's not dirty, it's loved. All right, so you get a little product on top. You can see I got a little dry lotion there. But uh, yeah, I just use like a, a half a pump and I just take it and I press it into my skin. And it just leaves the skin feeling so soft. I think these products have like an apple or a lemony, citrusy. I can't put my finger on the scent, but it's so refresh refreshing and it's so relaxing. Um, it smells so good, but it isn't like um, strong in the sense that you would smell it throughout the course of the day. Or even after you put it on, like it dissipates after you've put it on. But yeah, it just feels, it leaves the skin like feeling so soft. Like I wish you guys could feel how soft the, it leaves my skin. And I actually have, I actually have another product, but you know what? That's more nighttime routine than anything. Um, but I'll use like an array of under eye products um, before I go to bed. And, you know, you could use a moisturizer. I prefer to use um, under eye moisturizers because there are a couple um, on the market that I really like. One is like out of arm's reach, but it's by Ole, Ole, Ole Henriksen. <laughs> ole ole but it's like a banana bright under eye um brightening cream and it works really really well there's another one by strivectin if you have wrinkles um that works really well it's an intensive um moisturizer under eye moisturizer um specifically for people who have um who have wrinkles hey alice 
Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the chat. I'm enjoying it too. I didn't know how I would feel about doing this because I always get nervous when I'm doing, you know, live things and stuff like that. So I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you for letting me know that. I hope everybody else is too. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I, I like using an under eye product and the Strivectin is really good. It Like I said, if you have like deep set wrinkles or crow's feet or things like that happening, it will definitely help you to, um, to manage that over time. Um, I, I had to use it, um, not long after I was diagnosed and that was because so much was happening in my body and um I just looked sickly <laughs> yes Evelyn how do you like Strivectin and which products do you use they have one for the neck which I I don't have issues with my neck right now so I kind of use it um to you know keep issues with neck wrinkles at bay and I'll use it you know on my chest as well um I have that one again I have the under eye one that I really really like they had one that was called fake wig which was awesome it was like if you were really suffering from like puffiness under the eyes or things of that nature it was almost like you had a little girdle on under your eyes <laughs> and it really worked like the bags would go away like literally in a couple minutes there's another one um I really oh I said the Ole Hangrits and that's the one I use every day love 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 that um the Strivectin one is really good the fake wake they stopped making so you can't get that one anymore but I liked that one and I think they have another Strivectin. There's another Strivectin one. I'm not sure what the brand is. Maybe I'll do a video just for different under eye treatments that I've enjoyed. And um, I use the vitamin C and retinol serum. I use the retinol too. Isn't it good? The lip mask, the neck cream. Oh, you use all of it. The neck cream, the vitamin C sunscreen, and the retinol oil. Oh my gosh. How do you like the vitamin C serum? So um, I've been looking for, a new, or the vitamin C sunscreen. I've been using one by Murad that I really like, but I'm almost out of it. And I was thinking about trying another one. I use a lot of it, but I also use Dermalogica. Yeah. So. You just reminded me. One of the things I didn't bring in here is a product I also love by Dermalogica. I like Dermalogica a lot, but they have that exfoliating. Have you used the exfoliating cleanser by Dermalogica? It's a powder. You put it in your hand, you add a little bit of water to it, it turns into a paste, and then you use it to cleanse the skin. I freaking love that. It like almost polishes the skin. I've never seen anything like that. And I didn't use it for a long time because I was like, how is this going to be effective? But dang it, if that thing wasn't effective, it works really, really well. Oh, you like it too? Yes, yes. So you like the sunscreen. Okay. I think I'm going to try that next. Um, I do have, I, you know what I got is Mad Hippie. And I didn't pull that out because um, I'm still new to Mad Hippie. But my daughter uses the Mad Hippie vitamin C serum. It was recommended to her by one of her friends. And um, I was looking for a new vitamin C serum. So that's the one I decided to try. But maybe I'll look into um, one of the um, Strivectin ones as well. And if you guys, do you what, what vitamin C serums are you guys using? Has anyone tried? another brand. Um, I did use the pharmacy vitamin C serum on my skin. It was the, the one of the products that came with this one. So it was a smaller one, a smaller version. And I liked it, but I don't know. I didn't feel like I wasn't head over heels for it. So I haven't recommended it to anyone. Um, I'm still looking for a really good vitamin C serum, but I use vitamins, a lot of vitamin C in my daily skincare for under eyes, 
um, the sunscreen I already mentioned. Um, I also have a moisturizer that has vitamin C um, as its main ingredient as well. That really helped with brightening my skin. So I have another uh, part of my skincare routine that is solely about kind of brightening the skin because when I got sick, my skin became very dull to me. And um, I wanted, you know, something to help address that. I also had really dark circles, as you kind of notice now. I don't have a lot of dark circles um, under my eyes. I will get dark circles, um, like when I was, you know, really sick or after I've had an episode or even when, you know, my um, disorder is wreaking havoc on my body, then I do get deep dark circles. So that was one of the things that prompted me to try to find an eye cream to address that. Um, but when I'm healthy, yeah, I don't have really any issues, even though, you know, now I'm still having major issues, but um, my skin is coming back. My hair is, you know, coming back. And so prayerfully, everything else will fall into suit, so. Yeah, that is all I got, y'all. <sighs> what can you guys suggest to me to try? I'm always up, like I said, for trying new things. That's how, you know, I discover things I love, like this thing. I And let me tell you, the, the sample that came with, I think, like I said, it was a Sephora order because you can um, get samples of different products and sometimes they just throw them in the um, the box for you but this was one of the things that I received or maybe it was like because I had points and you know you have to use the points sometimes but I ended up with a baby version of this and I didn't use it for a really long time because I was like what is the point you know I can't see how that would benefit my skin and mushroom huh <laughs> but this is like Bay, like I said, it has replaced my Mario Badescu rose water. I love it, love it, love it. So yeah, and this is year round. It's a great year round product. It leaves the skin feeling so smooth and soothed. Um, if you know how sometimes you use a, a skincare product and your skin reacts to it like right away, like maybe it stings or maybe you feel tightening of the skin or you know, it turns red or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, I've noticed that if I put this on right after, it just like realigns everything, rebalances everything, soothes the skin, and I never have any issues. And sometimes you can have an issue, like if you're using, um, you know, a hyaluronic acid, or if you're using a glycolic acid or something like that, when your skin, you know, first gets accustomed to it, you can have like redness or some kind of reaction to it. Doesn't mean anything bad. It's just, it's working and it's engaging with your skin. And so, you know, to manage that, this has just been everything to me. I really do love it. And I didn't get that benefit from my rose water, Mario Badescu rose water. Um, but I still do use that rose water on my hair. This I don't use on my hair because it's not appropriate for that, but I definitely use it on my face and I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, what other products are you guys using? Did you guys like this video? <laughs> this live? It's been, um, okay, I'm gonna log off probably in a couple minutes, but I want to hear like from you guys. I can't believe I talked this whole time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, please do. This this video is going to go on my channel. Um and it's I'm going to leave it there. And I'm hoping that you all really enjoyed this video and that you will share with me what you use as a part of your skincare routine to exfoliate, you know, your face, um manage discoloration, hydrate the skin. I want to try the Origins product. Yeah, I think you will really, really be pleased with it.
Like, I can't imagine getting anything else um, or using anything else after this. It's a great toner. It's great, great to even, like, refresh the skin. I, you know, you'll see. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, but, yeah, what other... Um, videos would you guys like to see? I'm hoping that you'll leave that in the comment section below because I also don't know sometimes like what kind of videos do you all want to see? So um, I do have some videos upcoming. I just received a new unit from Love Me. This came, actually I think it came today. Today or maybe it was yesterday. So I'll be doing a video um, just to show you guys what that unit um, looks like. I have one of their other um, headband wigs. You'll, you'll see it in my shorts. I think it's in my last short and it may even be the cover picture for this video, the thick, tightly coiled hair. That's a wig y'all. And that's a headband wig from Love Me Hair. Their hair is not bad. I think I own, I own probably four or five of their units now. Um, that's one of the ways I've kind of given my hair a rest and really given it like the TLC and low manipulation it has needed. Um, you know, and that's by using like protective styles and not doing my hair every single day. And so that has helped along with um, some other treatments I've been doing to my hair. You guys probably saw the henna video. So I've been treating my hair with henna. I've been using mud masks on my hair and it has really, really made a difference. Miss Lelia, you hope what? Let me know. Wait, because I, I, I'm not sure. I can't even remember what I said two minutes ago. I'm sure it was in response to something I said, but... Uh, but yeah, so I'm definitely going to do um, the Love Me Hair video. I also picked up some makeup because I haven't bought makeup in such a long time. I hope my skin is as beautiful. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're all so nice. I really appreciate that, you know, be out here vulnerable in these YouTube streets, you know, um, and, but I appreciate your lovely, lovely and kind, kind comment. And I know that your skin will be even more beautiful than mine is. And it, I'm pretty sure it is even more beautiful than mine. You know, we only get one face, so we only get one body. And so we have to do everything we can to uh, take care of it. And so I hope that sharing some of this information was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you'd like to see like my morning, um, you know, skincare routine or um, if you'd like to see um, my retinol because I do a retinol treatment over the course of a month. I do this um, exfoliating treatments to my skin over the uh, course of the month. I do treatments to ex, um, detoxify the skin and extract um, a lot of the oils and, you know, gunk <laughs> that settles <laughs> in the pores and things of that nature. You know, if you would like to see that video, let me know. Um, I do cupping to my skin. If that's something you're interested in seeing, let me know. I also um, use like products like this. I was like debating as part of this video, which one of these I was going to share because I use both of them. I even have another tool that helps, you know, me to do like some sculpting to the skin and just really um, have like a self-care, you know, pampering um, uh, you want skincare, everything. Okay, girl, I got you covered. <laughs> but yeah, so if you, you know, anyone who likes to see those things, then please do let me know. Or if you have ideas for other videos, please do leave them in the comment section. Um, how often do you use retinol? I used to use it nightly in my late 20s, um, but now realize that I'm experiencing a lot of 
sloughing with frequent retinol use. Perhaps I just need to push through it. You know what? I only use retinol once or twice a week. Yep. Um, usually on Wednesday nights <laughs> when I cleanse my face, um, I will use a retinol cleanser. I'll use a retinol serum. I'll sometimes do a little mask if I have time. Um, and I don't know if I said a retinol moisturizer, but that's my, you know, I do it at least once a week, um, but no more than, than twice a week because it's actually, and I didn't know this, there was a period of time when I was first introduced to retinols, I used it every day and I noticed my skin had a reaction to it. And at first I really loved the way my skin looked, but with further use, I realized, mm -mm, this is not the, <laughs> this ain't the ticket. And then you have to find the right retinol products for you. And so once I did that and I learned that you're actually only supposed to use retinol um, maximum of twice a week, I stuck to that kind of schedule and yeah, and the results have been really, really good. So um, maybe if if you think it would be helpful, perhaps, um, you know, picking a couple of days of the week to do your retinol treatments, and you'll probably be good to go. And then also thinking about what other products you're using it with, because like, I believe glycolic acid and retinols should not be used together. Like there are different products you're not supposed to use with retinols. And so I had to learn about that as well. And it helped a lot. Okay, makes sense. My dermatologist also mentioned that if I don't have acne, then really I could cut back to twice a week. Yep. I'm just greedy with all the anti-aging. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you find something that works, yeah, you you you'll keep using that thing. But we yeah, we have to use things in moderation and will yield the um most beautiful, beautiful results that will, you know, amplify the natural beauty that we have. So yeah, aging has been like a very interesting, very interesting process. Um, and I have found that I'm a little, I don't know, I, I feel, a, a, I hate to use this phrase, but a certain kind of way <laughs> about the phrase anti-aging, uh, because I really don't think there's anything wrong with aging, right, in, it, in itself, because, you know, the alternative ain't good. <laughs> so as long as you're aging, that is a beautiful and a wonderful thing. And I guess it's more about, you know, aging gracefully. I, you know, I'm okay with not looking the same way I looked in my 20s or things changing because we're supposed to be evolving. We're supposed to be changing. And um, that change doesn't have to be perceived as a bad thing, right? Um and so I think that if we are kind to ourselves and for me, I had to have like a moment where I just had kind of a, a shift in how I thought about aging and I thought about the changes that were happening to my body. And that really has helped me to love myself more, be less critical of myself um, and to embrace this process, you know, just around skincare and body care and hair care. Um, and overall health and wellness from a perspective of just presenting the best me possible at every stage of my life. And so um, I wish that they could come up with a snappy phrase for that spirit rather than it being, you know, anti-aging. I don't know. True. I just want to age gracefully. That's right. That's right. Okay. Because we still cute. <laughs> All right, guys. It is getting late. It is 11.03. And let me tell you what. My gabapentin is kinking in. I'm getting tired. <laughs> but I'm so glad I got to do this because I was having so much anxiety about it. Because I have been getting comments about skincare stuff for such a long time and I feel like it's always in the back of my mind but it's like how am I gonna record it 
then I got to edit it, then I got to do this. And, and it's just, it becomes so overwhelming um, because I have the desire in the heart to put that information out and to share with you guys um, in so many different ways. Like there are so many ideas that I have, but the body is just not always, um, it doesn't always have the capacity to do all the things that my heart and my mind um, would like to. So I'm so glad I just decided to say, forget it. I'm going to jump on here and connect with you guys tonight. And it has been amazing. So good night. I enjoyed your live. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. Uh, thank you for this. You are so welcome, Miss Lalia. Oh, I love your names. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you guys for joining me. Like I said, if you have any ideas about um, what you'd like to see in the future, <coughs> please do leave it in the comment section below. Like I said, I did try to pull links to everything I um, everything I shared with you in this video um, that I use. Please, please, please don't be running out there trying to get all of this stuff. This is stuff I've accumulated over a period of time and then I only have to buy it, you know, every so often. And so, you know, pick, you, if you'd like to try this, awesome. But I wanted to put it out there because I wanted to share. I know that you all have asked and I wanted to create links if um, in the event that you saw something that maybe you wanted to pursue a little bit more or something that you wanted to learn a little bit more about or that you thought could address some of the um, desires you have uh, for your own skin, you know, but it's just, you know, it's just skincare. It's just skincare, you know, take care of yourself, drink water, <laughs> do those very basic things to take care of your heart, mind, body, and soul. Everything else will fall into place. So I, again, I put links to everything, but you know, that's for informational purposes only. <laughs> oh, because I, I, the reason I feel compelled to say that is because sometimes I get messages from people and they're like, you know, asking me a variety of questions about whatever it may be for hair or, you know, um, whatever it is I posted about. And then, you know, they put this pressure on themselves like, OK, I got to get this. Where can I get this? Uh, you know, um, and because we may have had other interactions. I, you know, you guys share so much with me and I really do appreciate that because we're edifying and uplifting one another. But I know that there have been a couple people who I've known have had like some challenges. These are hard, challenging economic times uh, that we are in the midst of. We're navigating a lot of change still when we're a year and a half almost into it. And so please don't put undue pressure on yourself to, to have to do the same thing that someone else does or do it the exact way that they do it. Do what works for you. Even these, you know, some of these products, you may find something in that line that works better for you or for your skin or for other, you know, areas of your face, body, whatever the case may be that, you know, you want to address. So I'm not doing this to... Um, put any undue stress on anyone um, and, you know, be like, oh, you have to come back and say that you tried this and let, you know, because I've had that happen too, where folks have gotten all, you know, a whole bunch of stuff and had, you, because again, through prior conversations and I'm probably sharing too much, I know that, you know, they're having a hard time. So that ain't impressive to nobody. What's impressive is you doing what is best for you, making the best decisions for yourself mentally, emotionally, and financially, <laughs> and simply, you know, taking care of yourself to the best of your ability. So, and a, probably a little bit of the reason I'm saying this is because I'm looking at all of these products and it's giving me like haul vibes. I'm not really a fan of haul videos because I feel like it's just like excess. But I guess I didn't buy all this stuff for the purpose of unleashing it, you know, into the world um, for the purpose of like a haul. This is stuff that I actually use that um, I'm sharing with you guys. So I guess maybe that's a little bit of my 
self-consciousness or, uh, you know, because that's a pet peeve of mine <laughs> with regard to hauls. I don't want to be in that category. I know some people like them, but, and I like watching them too, but that's not what I'm about here. I, I don't do hauls on this channel unless they itty bitty ones. <gasps> I will be doing a haul. Look what I just did. I will be doing a haul. I went um, and placed an order for a bunch of stuff from Sephora. I really don't even know how all that stuff ended up in my cart, but I want to try a bunch of new things. And so I'm not going to make this video any longer. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and just show you guys what um, I got because I was just like, this is so interesting to, um, I'm to, uh, for myself. I was so excited about the opportunity to um, try this stuff that I ordered because you know how you see things and you're just kind of like curious about it. Like, how does that work? Does it really, you know, am I going to get the same results that I saw that girl in that commercial? Have? <laughs> and so I broke down and I bought some of that, those items. Um, and so maybe I'll share them with you and maybe I'll even try a few of them on live just so you can see my live um, experience with them and yeah, we'll kind of go from there. So I'm rambling anyway, I'm going to get off of here now. Thank you guys so much for joining me and sharing a little bit of your Saturday night. This is the 15th time I didn't say goodbye, but <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> so anywho, you guys have a good night. Gets lots and lots of rest. Praise God. Bless somebody be kind to somebody tomorrow. Um, I hope that you have a great Sunday service wherever you're attending church, uh, either virtually or safely in person. And I will see you later. All right. Bye guys. Now I have to figure out how to stop this because I can't remember. It's been so long since I did a live. Let's see. Is it this one? Save highlight. No, that ain't it. Good night. <laughs> See ya.